Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to pick number 12 of albums that are 30 years old in 2024. We're looking back all month at the year 1994, 31 days in the month of March. We picked out our 31 favorite albums across all genres. They're celebrating their 30th birthdays or 30th anniversaries, depending on how you like to call it. Today we're going to take a look on day 12. at The third studio album by this American band it was released June 28, 1994. Recorded at Sound City Studios in Van Nuys, California, produced by Chris Goss and the band for Electra Records. I'm talking about Caius. Welcome to Sky Valley. That's right, the great stoner rock band, Caius, and what is arguably their greatest album, right? Arguably. Depending on what you like, right? Never released a bad album. To me, this is probably their crowning achievement. The band at this point in time, John Garcia, lead vocals, Josh Hom, guitars, backing vocals, Scott Reeder, bass, backing vocals, and Brant Bjork, drums, and percussion. Of course, all guys took part in producing the album, along with Chris Goss, the classic lineup, arguably, you could say, of Caius, right? Very, very influential band. Not around long enough, though, unfortunately. And they all went off and did other great things separately, right? We've got all those guys, notable names on the stoner rock scene over the years. Uh, some really cool tracks on this album. You got uh, Gardenia kicks off nearly seven minutes long. Very cool track. Spacey, heavy, chunky, crunchy. Asteroid, the cool little instrumental that follows it. Really cool guitar work on this album from Josh. Uh, just a Really cool band they get really heavy they can get light they get psychedelic they get spacey they get doomy all this stuff all looped into one then you got the uh, super scoop and the mighty scoop finishes off uh, the side one right which they side one two and three on this album then over uh, track number four you've got 100 degrees then the very very cool space cadet all right, Space Cadet is another one of the longer tracks on the album. you got Demon Cleaner, one of my favorites on here, Crushing Song. And then over on what's listed as side three, you got Odyssey, uh, Conan Troutman, N.O. And, of course, finishing it all off with the very cool psychedelic stoner track, White Water, right? Excellent stuff on here. Love the feel of this album. Love the grooves. Love the vibe. Love the heavy riffage right throughout this really cool album. Again, one of those really, really awesome bands from this time period that uh, really set the stage for what we would see on stoner rock and psychedelic rock going forward throughout the rest of the 90s into the 2000s, right? So uh, that's my pick for today. Let's see what we got uh, charting positions. We got in Australia. This made it to number 53 on the charts. And in Germany, number 74. No charting stuff back home. Nothing in the UK, nothing in Canada, unfortunately. But like I said, this is a um, very influential, much-loved band and album to this day, right? And of course, uh, you know, Mr. Reader left this band and went and go join the Obsessed. We just talked about the Obsessed yesterday, right? So it's... A lot of guys moving and shaking into all sorts of different bands, right? Of course, you know, Josh went and formed Queens of the Stone Age, right? Brant Bjork has gone and done all sorts of things, right? He played with Fu Manchu. He's done a lot of solo stuff over the years. So the, these guys uh, did all sorts of stuff. John Garcia has done a lot of things as well. So, yeah, um, very influential stuff here. And uh, do we have any singles? Yes, Demon Cleaner released September 1994, and Gardenia was released February 6th, 1995. So, uh, geez, many months later after the release of this. So, that is my pick for today. Let us know what you think of Caius's Welcome to Sky Valley. Down in the comments below, but more importantly, your pick for today. Pick number 12 as we work our way to number 31. we got a long way to go. Lots, a lot of time left in this month, but we'll get to it all, and we move into something completely different for April. I don't know what that is yet figuring it out I'm thinking about it thinking 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 so but we'll i'll let you know as soon as i know but i don't yet so anyway uh 
add your pick down in the comments below and visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as a post. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page, our channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff. I'm Pete Pardo. Don't touch that dial. We got tonight coming up. In the prog seat, it's all about Gentle Giant tonight. Our three favorite Gentle Giant albums. It's a catalog that's filled with greatness. Very hard to pick just three albums, but that's what we're doing. Tune in later on tonight for that, and we'll see you soon here with more stuff. I am Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.